Have you ever been fumbling around trying to find a file inside of your project window with no avail? I got you covered in this video. Hey anyway, welcome back, Robert T. Garden here again with another video. If you're new here, welcome. I post content on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. If that's something you're into, stick around to the end of the video. Maybe you wanna stick around here a little bit more often by hitting that old subscribe button. But don't do it now, wait until this video is over. Today, what I wanna talk about is ways to find your files and or sequences inside your project window when you're working with a bunch of media and things can get a little bit of cumbersome things. So I'm working on this project right now. It's uh, several days of filming. We filmed for five days straight. Each day yielded at a minimum 12 to 16 different videos, three cameras each video. Man, that's a lot of stuff. I mean, take a look. They're just the footage alone is spanning so many different things because we've got A cams and B cams and C cams and some of them even have B roll with different takes. So there's a ton of stuff in terms of footage, audio. Let's talk about audio. Look, we've got each individual day has multi tracks. All this different stuff has just been flowing. So you can imagine as you get deep into these edits or these massive projects, trying to manage your media and keep track of things inside the project window if you need to make changes can be quite a nightmare. Thankfully, Adobe Premiere has kind of helped us out where this is concerned. And uh, it's actually a pretty effective, easy solution, but something that I use all the time. I thought that you guys would find it useful here. So right now what I've got set up is this session. This is an uncolored session that we're using to set up a multicam. If you haven't figured that out, I've got a video about how to work on multicams in Premiere as well. Should definitely help you out there. And I've also labeled the different footage inside of my project window, meaning I colored the footage inside my project window, which will be helpful in just a second. I also have a video about that too, shameless plug. I'm putting it out there. So what I want to do now is color this clip additionally so that I can see it in my multicam sequence when I go to flatten everything, which is something I'll talk to you about in just a second. How do I find this clip amongst all of the um, crazy amounts of footage that we have here? I'm not just gonna go search through each individual folder. That takes way too much time. We can't do those things. So what do I do? I right click on this footage. I see right here, reveal in Explorer, reveal in project. That's awesome. So what does this do? Reveal in project, if I click on this, it's going to take me to that folder and that file within the project window in Premiere, highlights it. I'm able to then right click, go ahead and label or do whatever I want to, but I make it green. Let's just say, I don't know why you would make it green, but I just made it green. And now you see that it changes up here in that window too. That's an amazing way of revealing that file in project. If I want to reveal it in Explorer or reveal it in Finder, if I'm working in a Mac, it's going to pull that up in the file directory outside of Premiere. Where do I have that saved? Is it an external hard drive? Is it an internal drive? Don't use an external drive. Just making sure that I can find that file to make any modifications, duplicate it, any sort of thing I need to do there. Cool. Now what we have here is I created a multicam sequence of this particular video. And a lot of times with my multicam sequences, what I like to do is create two of them. I like to cut them as multicams. And then before I export anything, to, in order to make that export go faster, I like to flatten that multicam sequence so it's not a multicam. It's actually the individual clips coming from each individual camera that we brought into the project. Now, in order to do that, I use a very similar process, but I can't find the sequence because I have so many different sequences that are here. So how do I accomplish that? Well, I go up to this little stackable thing that we I still haven't figured out the name for that. If you guys know the name, leave it in the comments. This little three stack here, I can click on that and you'll see going down reveal sequence inside project. Amazing. Here I am again. Here's my meditation multicam sequence. I can right click on that duplicate the sequence, which I've already done, and you say, I rename it to say flatten sequence, and then I can click on that and boom, there I go. Now here's the other thing. If you guys haven't checked out my coloring stuff, labeling things video, which I mentioned earlier, here's each of the individual clips of the cams 
that I labeled beforehand that I put the different colors on. So now if I need to go back and see which camera is where, I can just reference it by looking at the different colors inside my sequence. So there you go, reveal in project, reveal in finder or explorer, reveal sequence in project unbelievably helpful things that I've kind of found in editing these massive projects or if you have just a bunch of media that's online that you're trying to search through to find that's the way to do it ladies and germs if you like the video like the damn video if you haven't already subscribed ring the bell for posting notifications this is T Garden with another video in the camp I will see you guys next week peace <laughs>